Welcome to the 35 Express Project, an expansion of Interstate 35E from I-635 in Dallas County to U.S. Highway 380 in Denton County. The approximately 30-mile corridor is being expanded to accommodate rapid growth of the North Texas region. Improvements to the interstate include additional general purpose lanes between the Sam Rayburn Tollway and U.S. Highway 380, continuous frontage roads, barrier-protected reversible managed lane system from I-635 to Turboville Hundley Road, the reconstruction, rehabilitation, expansion, or new construction of more than 75 bridges along the corridor, including new direct connector ramps that link the 35 Express managed lanes with the I-635 Techpress managed lanes, a new Dickerson Parkway, new direct connector ramps at the interchange of Interstate 35E and the Sam Rayburn Tollway, new southbound bridge over Louisville Lake, and fully reconstructed interchanges at Beltline Road, FM 407, Garden Ridge Boulevard, Oak, Lake Dallas Drive, Turboville Hundley Road, Corinth Parkway, Post Oak Drive, and North Texas Boulevard. This animated rendition will take you through the project design and operation. Studies by Texas A&M University's Texas Transportation Institute consistently show that North Texas commuters spend a growing amount of time in traffic. This time results in increased commute costs and environmental impacts. Projects like 35 Express are being designed and constructed to help alleviate the daily congestion resulting from commuters going back and forth to employment centers. This project adds much needed capacity, increases mobility, and improves roadway deficiencies. Traffic counts, congestion modeling, and anticipated future growth in the region have been evaluated by the project team to determine the most effective configuration of the facility. The reversible managed lane system is a congestion management tool that will replace the current HOV lane system. Revenue generated from the 35 Express managed lanes will go towards funding future improvements to the I-35E corridor. The 35 Express managed lane system will extend approximately 18 miles down the center of the interstate from I-635 in Dallas County to Turboville Hundley Road in Denton County. This addition to the roadway will flow southbound to the Dallas area and job and activity centers during morning rush hour. In the afternoon, the lanes will be closed for a short period to allow for the reversal of lanes towards the north, allowing motorists to proceed in an express manner towards home, daycare, or sporting events. A cooperative partnership between transportation agencies, including the Texas Department of Transportation and the Regional Transportation Council, made up of elected officials from the Dallas-Fort Worth region, determine and oversee the managed lane policy. Managed lanes provide drivers a choice for a higher level of service and use a peak period pricing approach to deliver a speed of 50 miles per hour, which means the price is anticipated to be higher during rush hour and lower when traffic is lighter. The system is automated and uses movable gates protected by barriers to prevent opposing traffic from entering the lanes. Motorists can enter and exit the 35 Express managed lane system at several locations. The northbound entrances into the managed lane system are Royal Lane, I-635, Beltline Road, Frankfurt Road, Corporate Drive, FM 1171 Main Street. The northbound exits from the managed lane system are Valwood Parkway, Crosby Road and Beltline Road, Dickerson Parkway and President George Bush Turnpike, Corporate Drive, FM 407 Justin Road, FM 2181 Swisher Road, Corinth Parkway. The southbound entrances into the managed lane system are Corinth Parkway, Turboville Hundley Road, Garden Ridge Boulevard, Corporate Drive, Frankfurt Road, Beltline Road, Valley View Lane. The southbound exits from the managed lane system are FM 1171 Main Street, Corporate Drive, Sam Rayburn Tollway and Frankfurt Road, Sandy Lake, Whitlock Lane, Valley View Lane and I-635, Royal Lane. A key element of this project is providing a direct connection between the 35 Express managed lane system with the I-635 Techpress managed lane system. Direct connector ramps will be added to allow motorists to travel. Southbound 35 Express managed lanes 
to eastbound I-635 Texpress managed lanes. Westbound I-635 Texpress managed lanes to northbound 35 Express managed lanes. Southbound 35 Express managed lanes to southbound I-635 Texpress managed lanes. Northbound I-635 Texpress managed lanes to northbound 35 Express managed lanes. One of the key intersections of this project is the Beltline Road interchange in Carrollton. This intersection is one of the busiest along the corridor and sees more than 24,000 vehicles each day. In order to alleviate traffic congestion and improve railroad crossing safety in this area, Beltline Road will be elevated to the current height of I-35E and I-35E will be raised approximately 25 feet above its current height. In addition to raising the interstate and the roadway, the frontage roads will also be elevated. Communities along the project corridor worked collaboratively with AGL constructors and TxDOT to determine aesthetic improvements that reflect their unique characteristics. The retaining walls of the Beltline Road interchange will include aesthetic improvements that reflect the history of the city of Carrollton. The project will also add a new east-west connection by extending Dickerson Parkway to the west. The new intersection will cross over I-35E and connect to the north and southbound 35E frontage roads as well as the northbound frontage road of the President George Bush Turnpike. The new bridge will have two lanes of traffic in each direction, sidewalks on both sides, and will connect commuters to the DART Trinity Mills Station. This station serves as the transfer point between DART Rail and the DCTA A-Train. Another feature in this area is the construction of a collector-distributor roadway that will improve mobility of traffic flow between the President George Bush Turnpike and the Sam Rayburn Tollway. Additional lanes of this parallel roadway provide room for vehicles to maneuver to various ramps without mixing with the I-35E general purpose traffic. Collector-distributor traffic is also kept separate from the frontage road traffic. The separation improves safety and mobility on each roadway. The interchange of I-35E and the Sam Rayburn Tollway sits near a very active retail area that often backs up due to the current configuration of the interchange. Connectivity on the north side of the interchange is another feature of this $1.4 billion construction project designed to increase mobility in the corridor's hotspots. Direct connector ramps will be added to provide access from southbound I-35E to east and westbound Sam Rayburn Tollway from east and westbound Sam Rayburn Tollway to northbound I-35E. FM 407, known locally as Justin Road, is an important east-west connection along the interstate. The bridge serves as a gateway to Louisville and Highland Village and will include aesthetic treatments to highlight this key access point. After construction is completed, a widened FM 407 will run under I-35E. This highly anticipated reconstruction will include three lanes of traffic in each direction and sidewalks and Texas U-turn lanes on both sides. The Garden Ridge Boulevard Bridge is also being fully reconstructed to include three traffic lanes in each direction. A significant upgrade to this intersection will include the ability for bicyclists and pedestrians to safely and easily cross I-35E to access the DCTA station. Additionally, new connections to the Louisville Lake Park systems on both the north and south sides of the lake, as well as a new trail in Copperas Branch Park East, will enhance recreational opportunities in the area. Future trail projects will provide a connection north to the existing Denton Branch Rail Trail in the cities of Corinth and Denton. I-35 across Louisville Lake is being expanded from 6 to 14 lanes. This expansion includes a shared path for pedestrians and bicyclists on each side, two-lane frontage roads in each direction, four general purpose lanes in each direction, and two reversible managed lanes. The existing bridge will carry northbound, general purpose and frontage road traffic and a shared use pedestrian path. The new bridge will carry southbound, general purpose, frontage road and reversible managed lane traffic and a shared use pedestrian path. The retaining walls along the bridge will also feature textures and images to improve the aesthetics of the area. The communities of Hickory Creek and Lake Dallas, featuring vibrant business districts, small town atmospheres and recreational assets will benefit tremendously from the reconfiguration and full reconstruction of the existing Lake Dallas Drive and the North Denton Drive bridges. 
The existing Lake Dallas Drive Bridge will be removed and replaced with a new Oak Lake Dallas Drive Interchange. This new interchange will run underneath I-35E and connect with the north and southbound frontage roads. It will have four lanes as well as sidewalks and Texas U-turns on both sides. The existing North Denton Bridge will be removed and replaced with a new Turboville Hundley Road interchange. Turboville Hundley Road will run underneath I-35E and connect to the north and southbound frontage roads via jug handles. It will have four lanes and sidewalks on both sides. Corinth Parkway is another highly anticipated improvement. Serving as the main entrance to the city of Corinth, a growing community with a hometown atmosphere, the current facility will be reconstructed under I-35E and expanded from a two-lane bridge to an eight-lane roadway. Sidewalks and Texas U-turns on both sides. Corinth plans to develop the area near this intersection to serve its growing residential base. Easing congestion from increased residential development to the west and the east, the Post Oak Drive Bridge in Corinth is another long-awaited improvement that is being reconstructed as part of the project. This bridge will be expanded from a two-lane bridge to an eight-lane bridge with sidewalks on both sides. North Texas Boulevard, located at the gateway of the University of North Texas, is also being reconstructed to handle the increasing traffic near one of the state's largest universities. In its final configuration, the new bridge will have two through lanes in each direction, two dedicated turn lanes in each direction, U-turns on both sides of the bridge, and wider sidewalks. This bridge will connect the newly constructed dormitories on the west side of the campus with the academic buildings on the east side of the interstate. The 35 Express project will add greater mobility to one of the fastest growing areas in the country. It will provide access to economic centers and promote additional growth along the corridor. For more information on the 35 Express project in Denton and Dallas counties, please contact the 35 Express Public Information Office.